I want my friends Billy Wigley here coming at you from the Ninth Island, Las Vegas, Nevada. So I get a weekly update from a friend of mine that works on real estate here in Las Vegas, Nevada. And I wanted to compare a couple of weeks and see what the trends are looking like. And I'm going to compare the weekly snapshot from September 24th and one from October 23rd. And this is the perfect opportunity for me to test out the new model by Claude. It's called Sonnet 3.5. So let me go right ahead and paste right in there my request. So you'll notice right here, Claude Sonnet 3.5 new. There's a Claude Sonnet 3.5. If you haven't gotten the update yet, you're probably seeing, you don't see the new part. So you know it's the new one when you see the new in parentheses. And that is their most intelligent model. Some of y'all might have heard a few things uh, about the new features that come with this model. And I just wanted to see how it does this comparison. Claude is probably my favorite large language model that I work with. And I work with ChatGPT. I work with uh, OpenAI, Gemini, and Anthropic Claude. I like them all. They're all just a little bit different, so I use them for different purposes. So what we're going to do in this example is we're going to ask Claude to go right ahead and analyze the two images and make me an interactive data visualization comparing its findings between the two snapshots. So I'll go back to Snagit and I copy the first one and let me paste it right in there then I'll go right ahead and copy the second snapshot and paste it right in there I'm just copying and pasting and Claude is uploading them just like that pretty cool now I'm just going to go ahead and send that request in and now let's see what kind of interactive data visualization Claude generates for us. So there we see Claude working, doing all its coding. It's going to give us on one side the report, the written report or summary. And on the other side, it's going to give us an interactive data visualization. Now let's see what it delivers to us. I've ran this a couple of times, and each time it gave me a different type of visualization. So I'm interested. Oh, hey, look at this one. I like this one. Now what we've got right here is the text summary of the findings, and it looks like some instructions on, on how to use it. And we've got, there's the changes right here. It looks like the other ones right above it were just instructions the key features of the visualization that's what this is right here now i'm going to share the link for this what what this is called it's called an artifact right here and this is one of the cool one of the cool things that claude does is it makes artifacts if you haven't already tried it out i suggest you go ahead and check claude out and look at this isn't this is a nice visualization? You've got all the metrics. Let me go ahead and publish it. I'm going to go right here and publish it. And then that way I can have a link that I can share with you so that you can see this visualization yourself. I'm going to copy the link and I'm going to open up a new window, paste it right in there. And there we have it. Look at that. Nice. And when you hover over it, there it is. I mean, isn't this easy? And it works really nice. You can go ahead and do visualizations of just about any kind of data. You can even upload a spreadsheet and the like. Be careful with the data that you're putting up there. You know, if you're using sensitive, private, confidential company data that you don't want to be used for training purposes, don't upload it in here. And it's showing us September 4 categories. And there's October 4th. And here we can see that the median price looks like it decreased. Inventory went up. The days on market went up. And the price drops increased. So price is dropping. 
let's see, there's our prices. September, median price was 559. October, five, 550,000. So yeah, we've had a price drop. And during this time, there's a days of market, 115 days of market in October. So it's, the inventory is increasing. Let's take a look at the inventory right here. And uh, there it is. Isn't that nice? I'm going to go right ahead and, like I said, post this link in the comments so that you can go right ahead and check out this artifact for yourself. And you don't have to have a subscription to Claude. Watch, I'm going to press Control and to open the incognito tab. And I put in the link. And you don't have to have a subscription to Claude to be able to watch or look at this visualization and compare it. But I really like Claude. I mean, with OpenAI, ChatGPT, you can do something similar. But they don't quite come out as nice. The visualizations don't come out quite as nice as these artifacts do in Claude. So there you have it, my friends. Keep on learning. And remember, like I always say, don't get mad. Get yourself some skills. Aloha.